Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to be giving a basic introduction to SPSS syntax. I'm going to describe what it is, but I'm also going to describe some of the advantages to using SPSS syntax. And broadly speaking, they're related to two categories. One is efficiency and uh, quality assurance. And the other one is related to the fact that there are many functions in SPSS that are not available through the graphical user interface or the menu-driven approach to doing analyses. So to start off, one thing I'm going to point out is that when you do an analysis through the graphical user interface or the GUI, uh, SPSS is actually building up a syntax file in the background. And I'll give you an example of that. So this is a correlation matrix. I'm going to create through the bivariate correlations utility in the in the GUI. Now, if I um, most people would just click on OK and run that, but what you can also do is click on Paste. And almost every option in SPSS, when you're going through the windows, somewhere along the line there'll be a Paste option, and you can paste that and SPSS will create a syntax file automatically. And this is what syntax looks like in SPSS. It's a series of commands and subcommands that uh, execute various uh, functions in SPSS. And in this case, this is a correlation uh, matrix that's going to be produced. And we can look at that. We can run syntax in a syntax file by highlighting the relevant section. Uh, sometimes when you have a lot of syntax and some of it you don't want to actually run, you have to run only a selection. And, and I think it's a good habit to actually do that. So run on selection and SPSS produces the correlation matrix that it would have produced had we clicked on the OK button uh, through the GUI. Uh, so this is one good way to actually build syntax, but it's also a good way to learn syntax uh, because you can uh, check out what SPSS is actually doing in the background with the syntax. Uh, so that's what syntax looks like, and that's how it's related to the GUI in the sense that it's being built up with all the options that you're clicking. Now, the reason why, one of the main reasons or the advantages associated with syntax, and um, I'll speak first about the um, the quality assurance element, is that sometimes when you run an analysis on a data set and you have output and you use that those results for some reason, maybe a month or two or three later, you need to come back to this data set and you cannot for the life of you redo the analysis. Suppose you need to redo it in a slightly different way. Well, you can't even remember how you did it in the first instance. If you save the syntax file for these main analyses that you do, then you'll be able to replicate perfectly what you've done. Uh, but if you don't save it and you only save the output, you won't necessarily be able to remember exactly how you did those analyses. So it's a quality assurance uh, element. Now, another reason is that um, y some analyses in SPSS GUI are a bit disappointing in the sense that you can't do it on several dependent variables. In general, in your model ANOVA, is a good example of that. There's only one dependent variable box here. I can't do it unlike the other ANOVA option, going into compare means one way ANOVA. There's a whole big box uh, uh, waiting for dependent variables, but you can't do that in GLM. And one reason you'd want to, to do it in GLM is that GLM ANOVA is the only way you can get the eta squared associated with the ANOVA. You can't get that through the other option. So if you wanted a whole bunch of eta squared with your uh, nine dependent variables, you'd have to do it over and over again by taking the dependent variable out and then putting it back in, taking it out, and then